Welcome students. In this video, we are trying to work with the practical number 4B. The 4B says develop a simple JSP application to pass values from one page to another with validation. This validation can be done by us in HTML or this validation can be done by us in JSP also. It is better to do the HTML validation, but as per the demand of the students, I am doing the JSP validation. What they are expecting, we need to accept the name, we need to accept the age, we need to accept the hobbies in checkboxes, we need to accept the email address, we need to accept the genders in terms of the radio button that is either male or female and so on. So now let us start concentrating about how this page need to be developed. So this is practical number 4B. So I am creating a new project where I am creating a web application. Given the name of the application at practical 4B. Moving ahead, I had given a click on next. A Tomcat server gets selected. I had given a click on finish. So now I need to first of all design the practical HTML page. Okay. Now, as per their expectation, I had just designed a small HTML page where I will be going to the form validate.jsp. So when the user clicks on the submit button, it will go to validate.jsp. One input type text for accepting the name, input type text for accepting the age, the hobbies, hop1, hop2, hop3, is singing, reading, football, the email address, the name is email, gender, male or female, and submit button. If you want, you can have a reset button also, and the form is also be good. Now I am just pasting these all contains inside my index.html so you can find my index.html is entirely been read. Now what I need? I need to go for developing the JSP page which is named as validate.jsp. So let us concentrate how we can create the validate.jsp. So I just go to JSP and give a name to the JSP page as validate dot jsp and here i required to complete my validations now i want name should not be empty age should not be empty age must be number age must be above 18 anyhow i am just expecting name should not be empty and age should not be also empty if name and age is empty then show us the error and display the form where the user will be again entering all the values and if everything is correct then do one thing, then just display the data which has been submitted. So there are two tasks. One, validate the data. If data is appropriate, display the value. If data is not appropriate, show the form again along with the validation message. This is what been expected by the university. So I'm just writing very small code. First time started writing the JSP code inside my scriptlex. So here I am started taking the variables by saying string name equal to request dot get parameter. The object text box name is name. Here again I am providing string age str equal to request dot get parameter and providing the text box name as age. Uh, let the hobby, gender, email address that I am not going to check. You can add up the condition as per your requirement. First, I am checking whether the name is empty or not. First, I am checking one variable, string errmsg equal to empty. So, error message is one variable taken by me and I had kept it as empty. So, if any error occurs, then error message will not be empty. It will be containing the error messages. So, name should not be empty. So, I am just writing if name dot equals or I just uh, remove the blank spaces also. So name dot trim dot equals. If it is blank, if it is blank, then do one thing. Err msg equal to please provide name along with the br tag. So the line break will come. Again, a second condition: age should not be also empty. So I'm writing if age str dot trim dot equals if it is also empty then error mg equal to please provide age and a line break but i want 
if both are there then error message should be concatenated so i'm writing error message plus equal to along with that i need to check whether the age is appropriate or not in terms of number so i'm just using a small try catch block so try i just say int age equal to integer dot percent in the bracket str or age str right and i need that this should be checked in the block so if the age is not empty if it is empty then do one thing display the error message as please provide age else then try to convert the string age into integer age so if suppose somebody enter the age as a b c d then it has not been converted into integer so it will be generating the exception that will be handled by my catch and in the catch i am again saying error mg plus equal to invalid age and the br fine my task has been completed else part is also been completed now where exactly the errors are no errors are there if else is also been over now at the end i will be trying to check whether error message is having any value or not if error message is having a value it means there is some problem in the form data so i'm writing if error mg dot trim dot equals if it is empty it means what there is a problem it means what there is a problem if there is a problem then the message should be displayed along with the form so i just close my scriptlet over here and started my scriptlet again over here and here i am writing our jsp include tag by saying jsp colon include page and the page which consists of a form that is index dot html and after this it must be displaying the message by saying out dot println error message so form will be displayed and below that the error message will be also displayed but if it is not the case like this then in the else part then in the else part we need to check whatever the values are accepted those values must be displayed so i am writing out dot println what is the value i need to provide i need to provide the value as name plus request dot get parameter name right or otherwise you can just use our variable called as name again i am writing out dot println br tag age request dot get parameter age i need to have a double quotes over here also sorry so fine uh, after that i need to display what hobbies and gender so i am email address also so you can go and add in the contents as per your requirement for hobbies you will be writing request dot get parameter hob1 then hob2 then hob3 and so on so you please try out these thing if still not getting it then please comment it out so i will be giving you the code but you should try so i run the file now let's see it shows me the form i am entering my name as a by i am entering the age something faltu and i am giving a click on submit form it says name by age is something something but actually we need the error has to be there but error is what not been displayed now let us try to check why the error is not getting displayed so i come over here and that might be a problem in a try catch so in try block if it is empty then say please provide it if it is not empty then in try block we are trying to provide age str age str in age err msg plus equal to kya likha hai hum logo ne yahan pe invalid age likha hua hai aur error message ke andar value aaya nahi to let us try to find why the value is not coming first we will try to run the page again and we'll keep everything is empty and try to submit let's see the things are working fine or not no the things are still not working fine it means there is some problem which is coming over here the error message the values are not been passed properly so here i'm saying string name request dot get parameter name age str request dot get parameter age err msg 
it is empty if name dot trim dot equals is empty then we are providing err msg equal to please provide name if age str the same variable dot trim dot equals is also empty then we are providing the error message equal to please provide the age else try block then err msg dot trim dot equals if it is empty uh, there may be a problem over here only just wait a minute class okay class so where exactly the error okay uh, there is a problem over here i had written if the error message is empty then display the error message so i need to provide over here equal to equal to false and now if i try to go for running the page let's try to check i run the file and i just give a click on submit form it shows me the error message i am providing the name i am providing the age i give a click on uh, submit form so it provides the details so now what is needed you need to add up some kind of condition for validating for email and display the values of hobbies and gender which is selected by you so please try to do this particular thing um, and have a successful practical so thanks a lot students